Hello Central Kentucky. If you're in the process of buying or selling a home in Lexington, Fayette County, Kentucky, or if you are just curious about the current market there, you've come to the right place. Welcome to our analysis of the latest local real estate trends as of September 2023. We're going to unveil the five real estate indicators that are shaping the housing market in Lexington, Fayette County, and how each impacts buyers and sellers. By the time we're through, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of who benefits given the current market conditions. We won't leave it there though. We'll also cover what buyers and sellers need to know to make the best real estate decisions. And we're off. Let's start with the first indicator, month supply of inventory. This indicator tells us how long the current inventory of properties in Lexington, Fayette County would last at the current rate of sales. In September 2023, the month supply of inventory stood at 1.46 months, indicating that if no new properties were added and sales remained steady, it would take almost one and a half months or around 43 days to sell all the properties on the market. Compared to the previous month, the month's supply of inventory rose 14.9%, indicating an increase in the time homes are on the market. Looking back a year, it was up by 36.5% or an additional 10 days. Six months' supply of inventory represents a balanced market, favoring neither buyers nor sellers. With the current 1.46 month supply of inventory, buyers still find that homes are snatched up quickly potentially leading to multiple offers and increased competition. For sellers, it indicates that the market continues to move at a quick pace. This presents a favorable environment for sellers looking to make a move in the current market conditions. Now, let's shift our focus to the current inventory. This indicator gives us a snapshot of the number of homes currently available for sale. It's important to note that the number of homes on the market can vary as it depends on when the report is generated. By consistently using the same day each month, we can establish meaningful month-to-month -month trends. As of September 15th, there were 435 homes available on the market in Lexington, Fayette County. This represents an 11.8% increase compared to the previous month. When compared to last year, when there were 438 homes on the market, we observe a 0.7% decrease in the number of available homes. The fact that there are 435 homes on the market provides buyers with a broader range of options to consider compared to last month. With choices buyers are more likely to find a home that perfectly matches their preferences and requirements. But what about sellers? Sellers might be wondering if a higher inventory is beneficial. While a higher inventory means more competition among sellers, which could put pressure on pricing this doesn't necessarily mean they're at a disadvantage. With the right pricing and marketing approach, sellers can still stand out in the crowd. Plus, the increased options for buyers might attract more potential purchasers to the market, increasing the chances of finding the right buyer for their property. Even with the rise in the current inventory, this indicator continues to favor sellers. Stay tuned as we delve into the remaining indicators, including the most requested indicator, providing you with a comprehensive overview of the Lexington Fayette County real estate market. Next, the existing home sales volume measures the total sale price value of properties whose sales contracts were completed during the month. In September 2023, a total of $120.2 million worth of property was sold in Lexington Fayette County. This represents a 6.8% decrease compared to the previous month. When compared to last year's $138.8 million worth of sold property, we observe a drop of 13.4%. For buyers, this suggests that there's less activity in the market. As potential buyers leave the market due to higher interest rates and other frustrations, those remaining might have more opportunity given less competition. For sellers, this means that they're operating in a market that's slowing. While it may not be as red hot as it once was, it's also not in a state of freefall. It's important to note that the existing home sales volume indicator provides a gauge of the market activity during this period and favors neither buyers nor sellers. Now, let's turn our attention to the median sales price the most requested real estate indicator. Median sales price provides insights into the midpoint price of homes sold in a specific area during a given month. Unlike the average sales price, 
The median sales price eliminates the influence of exceptionally high-priced homes, giving us a more accurate representation of the market. In September 2023, the median sales price for a home in Lexington, Fayette County stood at $332,500. This reflects an increase of 5.6% compared to the previous month and is up 16.1% over last year. For buyers, the increase in median sales price can be attributed to the continued low inventory in the market and increased competition among buyers. It's a classic case of supply and demand. With limited homes available and fewer buyers in the market, prices increase. Sellers, even with the increase, the median sales price remains above that of last year's hot market. This is an encouraging sign for anyone looking to sell their home. It means that despite fluctuations, the market has retained its value, and sellers are still operating in a market where their property is likely to hold its worth. It's a reminder that this is still a seller's market. Before we summarize the five key indicators for September 2023 and reveal who benefits from the overall market in Lexington Fayette County, let's look at our last indicator. The continuous days on market indicator provides insights into the average number of days it takes for a listing to go under contract. This calculation considers the period from when a property is listed until it is under contract, subtracting any days when the property was off the market. In September 2023, the continuous days on market for Lexington Fayette County stood at 23 days. This represents an increase of 9.4% compared to the previous month, indicating a slower pace of homes going under contract. When compared to last year, we observe a 21.1% increase in the continuous days on market. With an increase of just two days, the market continues to move at a fast pace. For buyers, it means that the competition for homes is strong. If you find your dream home, you'll need to act quickly and hope there aren't multiple offers on the table. For sellers, it's important to note that even with this increase, the continuous days on market is still very low, meaning that homes in Lexington Fayette County are selling faster than in many other markets. This can be seen as a testament to the continued demand for homes in the area. The indicator favors sellers because of the sustained demand in the market. Now, let's recap the insights we've gathered about the key local housing market indicators for September 2023 in Lexington, Fayette County, Kentucky. We determined that the month's supply of inventory favors sellers, indicating that homes are still selling at a fast pace. This creates an advantageous environment for sellers in terms of pricing and competition. Current inventory favors sellers. Despite the increase in the number of homes on the market, inventory is still low. The existing home sales volume, as we mentioned, is a gauge of the market activity during this period and favors neither buyers nor sellers. The median sales price, reflecting the midpoint price of homes sold, also favors sellers. With the increase, the median sales price indicates a market where property continues to hold its worth. Lastly, the continuous days on market indicator still favor sellers due to homes selling faster than in many other markets. Considering these key indicators collectively, the overall market for September 2023 in Lexington, Fayette County, Kentucky favors sellers. Before we sign off, we want to provide some practical guidance for both buyers and sellers. Buyers. Inventory is up compared to last month, meaning that you now have a few more homes from which to choose. Interest rates are also up. When interest rates jump, decisive buyers have a narrow window to capitalize on less competition while others may pause to consider. Remember the adage, marry the home and date the rate. If you find your home, you can potentially refinance as rates settle back down. Prices are up from last month and that trend isn't likely to change. In fact, with low inventory and strong demand, it's likely prices will go higher. If you find the right house, wouldn't it be great to make the move while all these factors are in your favor? Sellers. Timing the market is nearly impossible. The best we can do is read and react to the data available. Prices are strong compared to last year. With low inventory levels, well-positioned listings with a great mix of price and condition sell quickly. Days on market is 23 days, which means homes are still selling quickly. 
have your realtor run the numbers based on the market and see if that achieves your financial goals. It's best to act now if you're ready to sell. If you like this market update, share it with a friend and please reach out if you have any questions or suggestions. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge you need to make informed real estate decisions in Lexington Fayette County. Each month, we also explore the latest local real estate trends of five other central Kentucky counties, Frankfort Franklin County, Lawrenceburg Anderson County, Versailles Woodford County, Nicholasville Jessamine County, and Georgetown Scott County. And if you're interested in a broader perspective, be sure to watch our monthly national real estate metrics videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to providing you with more insights next month. Thanks for watching.